Grown up Ariel. What the hell? Hey guys, it's Julia here. Back again with another hashtag Juloween video. Get it Juloween instead of Halloween. I put the jewel instead of the haul, so you get Juloween. Okay, I know I'm weird. So this video is kids Halloween costumes versus adults Halloween costumes because I've done a lot of kids versus adults videos and you guys seem to love them, but I thought I would do a cool spin on this one and make it like more of a testing challenge type video where I try on kids Halloween costumes and I try on adult Halloween costumes and I kind of just compare the two like the style, the cut, quality, you get the gist. Obviously I'm not like a kid size but I'm small so I can kind of fit like a size 10 to 14 somewhere around there. More on the 14 size but you get it. Anyway if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss another one of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up because I really appreciate your likes they really help me out and let's just go ahead and get into the video. So the first costume I'm going to try out is the classic bunny. So we have the adult version. Adult bunny. And then we have the fluffy kids bunny. And this one kind of reminded me of like a bunny meets a Powerpuff girl. Kids bunny costume. Pretty colorful. Pretty like pow pow. So what I liked about um Actually, I didn't really like it because the top was like too small and the bottoms were too big So it didn't really make sense and my top and my bottom are pretty like equal in size I'm not a big fan of bunny ears I've never worn bunny ears before and I don't think I'm ever gonna be a bunny for Halloween because they're really annoying Every time I tried to film they were like getting caught in the lights and all that stuff So I was like mm-mm, but I love cat ears. Cat ears are like my fave. So that was like a no-go and then the kids bunny costume the costume was actually really comfortable and cute but like definitely for a kid I mean obviously it's a kid's costume and then the bunny ears on this one still bothered me so I was like mm -hmm. Just don't think a bunny is gonna be in the cards for me for Halloween. So the next costume we have is mommy cat and baby kitten You know me. I love my cats. I just got a cat. So I was like gotta do this one adult cat the adult costume fit perfectly fine. It was like a little bit snug, but it looked good. It was like a good solid costume. And if it's cold that night, it covers like almost everything except for like a little circle in your back. So that's pretty cool. Um, it came with a necklace and Sorry, I'm out of breath. Some cute cat ears. So I was like, okay, this one's pretty cool. And then for the kids costume, kitten. I mean, I don't know what size I ordered. I ordered a 12 and up. I don't know. I feel like this would fit more like a 10 year old because it was very short. It's cute. It's fluffy. It's very cat like, but the only problem with it is the ears are like flopped down and they don't stand up. And I was like, mm -hmm, no, that was just very disappointing. They need to put some wires in here or something. You want your cat ears to be like perky, not that. <laughs> so overall, I would give the kids costume a three just because of the ears. You know, if you would have put in good ears, I'd give it like a seven. I know, right? That's just really like up the ante. And then this one's an eight. So they're pretty good. By the way, if you missed my video where I tested kitten toys on my new kitten, just click over here or link in the description to watch it. Okay, so the next costume I got was a devil, El Diablo. So here's the grown up version and here's the kids version. I actually preferred the kids version. I feel like it would look cute on an adult too. That was so hard to say. Okay, so what I liked about the adult costume was definitely like the devil horns. Those were cute. I like the fact that it was sequiny, but the sequins were kind of like itchy. So like this would have been pretty perfect if the sequins weren't like itching like the leg holes and like the top part where my chest is. Besides that, this was actually pretty cute. It looked pretty good on. I like the back where the bows were. And then the kids version I liked way better because it was comfortable, but the wings didn't fit my arms because my arms were too big. Just they're not kid size arms, so you know. I liked the ears. Everything else was good. I'm, I don't like the fishnets. They were kind of itchy and uncomfortable on the arms and legs. When I was like a baby, I remember my parents dressed me up as a little devil and it was like, kind of creepy, but super cute. Maybe that meant I was like a devil child. I hope I wasn't a devil child. That would suck. <laughs> okay, now we have college cheerleader versus middle school cheerleader. College cheerleader. So the college cheerleader one, I actually overall liked the costume. I just wish there was more material on the boob area because the straps were too long, but the actual top part, like the part that covered the boobs was a little too small. But I really like that it came with pom-poms because the kids one uh, did not come with pom-poms. So I mean, you'd have to buy them separately. Although this one was actually pretty expensive. If I'm not mistaken, it was like $80. So I guess you get what you pay for. The other thing that I wish it just didn't have was like poppy on the boobs. I mean, 
a little bit much. But I mean, you know, to each his own. Middle school cheerleader. And then the middle school version was pretty perfect. I don't have any complaints. It was just your classic cheerleader uniform. Okay, the last and final costume that we have for today <laughs> is the Big Mermaid and Little Mermaid. Get it? Big Mermaid for the adult one and Little Mermaid for the kids one. It actually turns out that I bought the kids version and the adult version of the same costume. Like I didn't have to like go to different brands of costumes, I guess you would say. Yeah, I mean I bought them all on Amazon anyway, so it wasn't like I had to order from different places, but you get the gist. Grown up area. So the adult version, clearly it would it fit better. Actually, you can't even really tell, but I personally felt more comfortable in the adult costume. Oh, by the way, the wig that I'm wearing, bought that separately. I just really wanted to actually like make it look realistic because I did not have long, flowing, red, luscious, beautiful Ariel hair. How fun would that be? Like, I actually kind of want to dye my hair red now because that red color was just so pretty. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys liked it and feel like it looked good on me because I feel like it did. Maybe I'm just being like, Okay, so this costume I liked it because it just really felt like a mermaid. I don't know. It fit perfectly. I just don't have any complaints about it. The little mermaid, but actually the little version. And then the kids costume, it really did fit well, minus the fact that I couldn't get the straps on. So I just tucked it in and it was actually like a legit halter on me because I couldn't get them to go over my arms because I pulled it up from the bottom when I put it on and I just didn't want to take the wig off. Maybe I'm just lazy, but <coughs> my, <coughs> my throat's dry. Or maybe I would have ripped it, who knows, but I didn't. So that's a good thing. Anyway, this was my favorite costume of all, you know, to save the best for last. Another reason that might be my favorite costume Costume of all was because the Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney princess. Comment down below your favorite Disney princess because I'm curious. And also, if you haven't seen my dead Disney princess um, makeup tutorials for Halloween from last year, you can click this thing on the side or the link down below. And if you also want to see a Little Mermaid hipster costume that I did a few years back all DIY, you could click on the side or the link in the description because I will put that there just for you. So that's all the costumes I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. That's about it. Happy Halloween. I'm so excited. But if you missed my previous video, you can click here at the end to watch it. I love you guys so much. Hi. Bye. This is Halloween. This is Halloween.